I want to get into those risk factors because we do have a, a graphic showing us what some of those factors are. So can you tell us about how much they can cause cancer, these that we're seeing right now, Dr. Desarga? Sure, so we're looking at these uh, these risk factors and obviously so age, you know, we know that as we get older, our, our, our risk of developing any kind of malignancy increases. Uh, mm -hmm. We also know uh, weight um, can increase risk of, uh, of, getting, uh, of getting cancer. So we always, that's why we, we always recommend diet and exercise. Right. Uh, we mentioned H. pylori, that's uh, uh, really via um, uh, ulcer disease uh, when it affects the lining of the stomach. Mm -hmm. You know, a huge, a huge, um, uh, a, a huge cause of, uh, of stomach cancer worldwide, actually, are these smoked salted foods. Um, we've known for a long time that salted foods or pickled foods can increase the risk of, um, of stomach cancer. And in fact, in some areas of the world where, where, where this kind of food is higher, right. uh, as in Japan, uh, they have the high, we can see, we often see the highest incidence of, uh, of stomach cancer um, happening there. Wow. And then there are, you know, tobacco um, is, is a cause of virtually every kind of cancer. And as, uh, as Omar mentioned, family history as well. Uh, mm -hmm. there's, there, there, there's a small, uh, a small percentage of patients with, uh, that genetic factor. with stomach cancer mm -hmm. that do have a hereditary uh, syndrome or some genetic mutation, some genetic factor that predisposes them to developing uh, stomach cancer.